Welcome to our Freedom From Suffering Now blog. I'm Dr. Steve Grinstead. Today I want to talk about neuroplasticity and the role it plays in chronic pain management. Now, the brain is very adaptable and what I've learned through research and experience working with people for the past 30 years is that when anybody does a repetitive behavior for a long time, it forms a new neural network, it reprograms the brain. Well, when someone lives with chronic pain day in, day out for a long time, that also has a remodeling effect. It's called neuroplasticity. The brain changes how it interprets pain signals. Now, in addition to that, if someone who's living with chronic pain is also taking opiates day in and day out for a long time, oh, as, as little as six months, but usually a year or more, they may develop what's called opiate-induced hyperalgesia. And to put it really simply, it just means that the pain system gets hypersensitive to pain signals. And the remodeling effect is like the brain turns on the pain signals and they don't get turned off. I mean, that's really oversimplifying it, but that's what happens. So people need to develop a plan to reprogram the brain. The brain can be changed. That's the exciting news. That's the good news. To retrain the brain takes a biological, psychological, social, and spiritual approach. I believe that people need to be working in all those areas in order to get the brain functioning at an optimal level again. And a lot of what happens to us usually only happens right between our ears. You know, so learning as much as you can about chronic pain, about what is effective pain management, what role does medication play in chronic pain management, and especially are you someone or know someone who is on large doses of opiates for a long time and they don't seem to be helping very well. You know what's really exciting, and I just uh, had a call with our Center of Excellence on the East Coast today, Valley Forge Medical Center, and they were talking about how a lot of times they'll get people in on high doses of, say, Oxycontin or fentanyl. Those are two powerful pain management medications. And these people have been on those meds for a long time, and yet even on those high doses of meds, they were consistently rating their pain levels anywhere from a 6 to a 9 on a 1 to 10 pain scale every day. And they were so afraid that when they came off of the meds, they were going to be paralyzed with pain. It would be 10 plus, 20 plus. And what they've discovered, though, is that once you get off the medications for a bit, and it can be as little as several days to a couple of weeks, a lot of these people were now, without any opiates on board, reporting that their pain levels were down at a 3 to 4 and very manageable, and very manageable with say ibuprofen or Tylenol or sometimes not at all. So learn as much as you can about this because remember when something is repeated over and over and over again it makes neurological changes in the brain and I'm not just talking about psychological there's biological biophysical changes. So learn as much as you can about this neuroplastic effect and if you're watching this on YouTube please click on my professional blog at freedomfromsufferingnow.com to learn more about my thoughts about this condition and what to do about it. Thank you very much and remember freedom from suffering is your right and it's also your responsibility. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate your being here.